gracious and merciful God, we come before you with hearts open to your word. As we delve into the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 18, we seek your guidance and understanding. May the lessons within these verses inspire us to embrace the mission of sharing the good news and to trust in the power of your Holy Spirit. In your holy name, we pray. Amen. Our reading for today from the book of Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 18. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. Heavenly Father, in these verses, we hear the commissioning of believers to go forth and share the good news. May we be obedient to this call and trust in the signs that accompany those who believe. Strengthen our faith and embolden us to be vessels of your love and healing in the world. Gracious God, we come before you with gratitude for the mission you've entrusted to us, the mission to go into all the world and preach the gospel. As we reflect on these verses, we pray for a renewed sense of purpose and passion for sharing the good news of your kingdom. Lord Jesus, your command to go and make disciples echoes through the ages. In a world hungry for hope and salvation, grant us the courage to step out in faith, trusting that your word has the power to transform lives. We pray for those who have not yet heard the good news. Lord, open doors of opportunity for us to share your love, mercy, and redemption with those who are searching for meaning and purpose. Lord, as we embrace the call to go and preach, we also acknowledge the importance of belief and baptism. May our lives be a testament to the transformative power of faith in you. Strengthen our commitment to living out our beliefs in every aspect of our lives. We lift up to you, Lord, those who are struggling with doubt and unbelief. Pour out your spirit upon them, and may they encounter your love in profound ways that lead to faith and salvation. Lord, you promised that signs would accompany those who believe. We pray for a deeper experience of the Holy Spirit in our lives, that we may be empowered to drive out demons, speak in new tongues, and participate in the miraculous work of your kingdom. We acknowledge, Lord, that your call involves both the proclamation of the gospel and the demonstration of your power through signs and wonders. May we be open vessels, yielded to the leading of your spirit, and ready to bring healing and restoration to those in need. In a world filled with challenges and uncertainties, may our lives be a living testimony to the resilience of faith. Strengthen us, Lord, to face adversity with unwavering trust in your promises and the assurance that nothing can separate us from your love. As we go forth in obedience to your commission, Lord, may we be instruments of your peace, love, and healing. Use us to bring light to places of darkness and hope to hearts in despair. We offer this prayer in faith, trusting in your guidance and relying on the power of your Holy Spirit. May your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you with open hearts, ready to receive the wisdom and truth found in your word. As we delve into the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 1 to 20, we seek your guidance and understanding. May the lessons within these verses take root in our hearts, producing a fruitful and receptive soil for your word. In your holy name, we pray. Amen. Our reading for today from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 1 to 20. Again Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in it out on the lake while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables and in his teaching said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, 
the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants, so that they did not bear grain. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up, grew and produced a crop, some multiplying thirty, some sixty, some a hundred times. Then Jesus said, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. When he was alone, the twelve and the others around him asked him about the parables. He told them, The secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to those on the outside, everything is said in parables so that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving, and ever hearing but never understanding. Otherwise, they might turn and be forgiven. Then Jesus said to them, Don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand any parable? The farmer sows the word. Some people are like seed along the path, where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. Others, like seed sown on rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Still others, like seed sown among thorns, hear the word, but the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like seed sown on good soil, hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop, some thirty, some sixty, some a hundred times what was sown. Heavenly Father, in these verses, we hear the parable of the sower, teaching us about the different responses to your word. May our hearts be like fertile soil, ready to receive and bear the fruit of your teachings. Open our ears to hear and understand the secrets of your kingdom. Gracious God, we come before you with a desire to be receptive to your word. As we reflect on the parable of the sower, we pray for hearts that are like good soil, ready to receive and produce a fruitful harvest. Lord Jesus, you used parables to convey profound truths about the kingdom of God. Grant us the wisdom to discern and understand the secrets of your kingdom as we meditate on the lessons within this parable. We lift up to you, Lord, the places in our hearts that may resemble the path, rocky places, or thorny ground. Forgive us for the times when we have allowed distractions, shallowness, or worldly concerns to hinder the growth of your word within us. Lord, we long to be like the seed sown on good soil, receptive, responsive, and fruitful. Cultivate in us a deep and abiding love for your word. May it take root in our hearts, producing a harvest that glorifies you and blesses others. We pray for those who, like the seed along the path, may face challenges in understanding and accepting your word. Soften their hearts, Lord, and guard them from the schemes of the enemy. May they come to experience the transformative power of your word. We also lift up those who may be like seed on rocky ground, receiving your word with joy but lacking depth. Strengthen their roots, Lord, that they may endure trials and tribulations, growing in faith and resilience. Lord, we acknowledge the dangers of the thorns, worries of life, the lure of wealth, and the desires for other things. Help us to identify and uproot these thorns in our lives, allowing your word to thrive and bear fruit abundantly. In our journey of faith, may we be intentional in creating fertile soil for your word. May our lives be characterized by a continual openness to your teachings, a deep-rooted faith, and a commitment to living in ways that glorify you. As we hear and understand the secrets of your kingdom, Lord, May our lives bear witness to the transformative power of your word. May our testimony be one of abundant fruitfulness, reflecting the grace and truth found in following you. We offer this prayer with gratitude for the gift of your word and the transformative work it accomplishes in our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.